Good day, our dear young scientists. It's nice to see you again. Are you excited for a fun learning session for today? I'm at your service, Sir Bench of Aurora District Jamantina Elementary School. And I'll give you another exciting lesson that you surely enjoy. Come on and have fun! Hello, my dear learners. Our topic for today is based on the most essential learning competency to determine the distinguishing characteristics of vertebrates and invertebrates. Our topic for today is all about characteristics of vertebrates. Before we start our new lesson, Let's have a review on our previous lesson. What is the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates? Correct! Vertebrates are animals that have backbone. While invertebrates are animals without backbone. Vertebrates are grouped according to their common characteristics. They are divided into five classifications. We have mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles. Let us first discuss mammals. Class what are these animals? Correct! Cow and tiger. Will you describe their body coverings? Very good! They have fur on their bodies. Mammals have fur on their bodies. How about these animals, class? Do you know these animals? You're right, they are cat, pig, and dog. These animals are also examples of mammals. How are these animals born? Are they hatched from eggs or born alive? Very good, they give birth to their young alive. How do the mother mammals feed their young. You're right! Mother mammals feed their young by providing them with milk. What part of their body used to be air? Are they using their gills or lungs? Correct! They breathe air with their lungs. Plus, most mammals can walk, but there are also mammals that can swim and fly. For example, whale and bat. Most of mammals have four feet to walk, but whales swim with their fins, and bats fly with their wings. Now class, let us read the characteristics of mammals. Mammals have hair or fur. Mammals give birth to their young. Mammals feed their young with milk. Mammals have lungs and need air to breathe. Other examples of mammals are dolphin, humans, Bat, kangaroo, dog, cat, goat, and cow. Let us discuss the next classification of vertebrates, which is birds. From the picture, how do birds reproduce? You're right! Birds reproduce 
by laying eggs. How many legs do birds have? For that, they have two legs. What are these animals class? You're right. These animals are dove and ostrich. Dove and ostrich are examples of birds. Will you describe their body coverings? Very good. They have feathers and wings. In that picture class, what do you think the dove can do? that the ostrich cannot do. Correct! The dove can fly while the ostrich cannot. Most types of birds can fly, though some cannot. Let us now read the characteristics of birds. Birds have feathers and wings. Birds have two legs. Birds lay eggs. Other examples of birds are eagle, duck, penguin, chicken, and dove. The next group of vertebrates is fish. Are you familiar with this fish class? You're right! They are billfish and tilapia. What do they have in their bodies? Correct! They have scales on their bodies. Where do they live? Very good! They live in water. In these pictures, how do fish reproduce? You're right! They reproduce by laying eggs. What do you think is the use of their tail and fins? You're right! They use their fins and tail to swim. How about their gills? What do you think is the use of their gills? Very good! Fish have gills to breathe in oxygen contained in water. Let us read the characteristics of fish. They breathe underwater using gills, not lungs. They live in water. They have scales and fins. They lay many eggs. Examples of fish are shark, tuna fish, blue mackerel scat, milkfish, tilapia, catfish. Let's proceed to the next group of vertebrates, which is reptiles. What animal is this class? Correct, it is a snake. A snake is an example of reptile. Will you describe the body covering of a snake? You're right, it has a scaly skin. Will you read it? Reptiles have dry scaly skin. How about the turtle class? Turtle is an example of reptile. Will you describe the body covering of the turtle? Correct! Turtle has shells. Will you read it? Some reptiles have hard shells on their bodies. Based on the pictures class, where do reptiles live? You're right! Reptiles live in land and water. How about this picture? What can you observe? 
Very good. They come from eggs. Reptiles are hatched from eggs. These are the examples of reptiles. We have lizard, snake, tortoise, and crocodile. Now class, let us read the characteristics of reptiles. Reptiles have scales, not fur. Reptiles lay their eggs on land. Reptiles live in land and water. Reptiles have dry skin. Now, let's discuss the next group of vertebrates, which is amphibians. Frog belongs to this group of vertebrates, the amphibian. Will you describe its body covering class? You're right! They have moist and smooth skin on their bodies. In this picture's class, where do amphibians live? Very good! They live both on land and in water. In this picture class, how do amphibians reproduce? You're right! Amphibians reproduce by laying eggs in the water. Just like frog, it lays eggs in the water which hatch into tadpoles. Young amphibians use their gills to breathe underwater. As they grow older, their lungs develop so that they can breathe on land. Examples of amphibians are Newt, Common Toad, Wood frog. Let us read the characteristics of amphibians. Amphibians live on land and in water. They breathe with lungs and gills. They have moist skin. And they lay many eggs. Now class, what are the five groups of vertebrates you have learned today? You're right! We have Mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles. Now class, I have questions for you. All you need to do is to write your answer in your science notebook or in your science journal. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Do we need to take care of animals? Next question, why do we need to take care of animals? Next question, how do you take care of animals? 